What is up everyone? Today we are going inside the brand new Harry Potter store in the Flatiron District in Manhattan. As a big Harry Potter fan, I am super excited to share with you not only merchandise and apparel in the store, but also the scavenger hunt. That is a fun game to do while you're there. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for all the latest updates on New York City things to do and food to eat. Let's get started. I am on the corner of Broadway and 22nd Street. You see the store in the distance, which the address says it's on Broadway, but it is currently around the corner on Fifth Avenue. It is best accessible from the 23rd Street Station R and W trains. So if you can get there, you will be right in front of the store. Already the windows are so much fun with all the houses. What house do you identify with? Let me know in the comments. We got super lucky and got into the store without the virtual queue because it's a Monday evening. However, there is a virtual queue on their website to ensure that you get entrance into the store. When you enter the store, they hand you a map and instructions for the scavenger hunt, which is the thing I am most excited for. Opening it up, we have the map of items to scan and where they're located in the store. Also instructions on how to download the app where you can scan the enchanted keys to crack the code and get your free gift. The app is really cool and anyone can download it. You can take a quiz to find your house, Patronus, and wand. So let me know what yours are. Wow, there are so many wands to choose from. They have every major character's wand. Here we have Narcissa Malfoy, Grindelwald, and of course, Bellatrix Lestrange. We've got Hermione Granger's wand here, and coming to Luna Lovegood's wand, who is my favorite Harry Potter character. Who is your favorite Harry Potter character? Let me know in the comments below. Yes, the Elder Wand, our first enchanted key scan. Wands are $38 each, and from touching them, they are extremely good quality, super detailed, and even weighted depending on the character's wand you choose. You can truly feel like you are using the character's actual wand, and they even have celebratory wands that aren't specific to a character. Hold the wands in this area to see the character they belong to, and then an employee will duel you or summon a dragon. Nothing cool. Wow. Where do you go now? Oh, oh whoa. Huh? Oh, hold on. I want to run. <laughs> Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh. Wow, Lucius Malfoy's cane. They really thought of everything to sell here. And what would a Harry Potter store be without the many candies featured in the movies? Most popularly, the Butterbeer, the Birdie Bots Jelly Bean Roulette, and Chocolate Frogs. I'm definitely grabbing a Chocolate Frog. There are so many candies to choose from and they're pretty reasonably priced. So if you're looking for an affordable gift or souvenir option, this would be the area to come to. And just like going up to Dumbledore's office in the castle, the huge statue turns around. Perfect toys and gifts for any Harry Potter lover, old and young, are available in this area. Whoa, Hagrid is so tall, we need to compare our heights to him! Now 
to enter into the house apparel area where you can find apparel and merchandise from every Hogwarts house, including your favorite. Found the diadem and let's head down to the cellar for more cool things to see. Oh wow, the time turner from the third movie. That is so cool. What is your favorite Harry Potter book or movie? I think mine is the third or the sixth. Let me know in the comments. I'm interested to see. Nice, we got it. The golden egg, another enchanted key to scan. Wizards Take Flight will be one of two virtual reality experiences coming soon to this store, so make sure you check out the website to be updated on when you can get tickets. Look at these Harry Potter trunks at $250 to $300 a piece. They are the ultimate fan boxes if you want to get the best of the candy, merchandise, and apparel of your favorite house. Down in the cellar, you can get your character or celebratory wand inscribed and find classic Harry Potter costume robes for Halloween, a costume party, or just for fun. Whoa, this area is just like the Chamber of Secrets with the Basilisk, so cool. Dobby. couple more enchanted keys off the list. Wow, look at these flying books. And if you don't have them already, you can add to your Harry Potter book collection. And in this cool little area, Harry Potter stationery, postcards, and prints to add some Harry Potter decor to your home. This is one of the things I have been dying to try for so long since I have never been to Harry Potter World in Universal, the Butterbeer Bar, where you can get a butterbeer on tap with foam on top, which is definitely more special than just buying the butterbeer in the bottle. I am so excited to give it a try. If you've tried butterbeer already, let me know in the comments if you've liked it. Here is the butterbeer. The foam looks delicious and it smells really sweet, so cheers! The butterbeer is sweet and delicious, very desserty. I've gotta say, the foam makes it really special and the reason why you've gotta get it in the store instead of in the bottle. Next time, I'm definitely trying the butterbeer ice cream too. And the best thing about having a wonderful day at the Harry Potter store is coming out to see that beautiful view of the Empire State Building on Broadway and 22nd Street. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for all the latest updates on New York City stores. Bye!